Olivia Ariel and you are watching VIP Local News, where you can watch all of your local news and entertainment. My name is Art Lopez. I've been the Chief of Police here in the city of Oxnard for the past three and a half years. And during that period of time, we've had some significant accomplishments, I think, in, the, uh, in terms of what we've been able to, to do in order to make the city of Oxnard a little bit safer. I think one of the biggest things is, is that we've had a 24 and a half percent reduction in part one crimes since I came here in November of 1998. And uh, I think a lot of that's attributable to some of the community policing types of activities that we've been involved with. What we as an organization have tried to do is we've tried to do outreach into the community and try to get input directly from the community on how we go about doing business on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, one of the things that uh, I almost immediately implemented when I first got here was community police advisory boards. And you have to look at the city of Oxnard to kind of understand what I'm talking about here. In the city we have eight geographic patrol beats and each one of those beats represent a district. So what we've been able to do is establish community police advisory boards in each one of those districts. And basically what we've tried to do with that is, is to get input from the community and share in the responsibility of being able to address the problems in those, those particular neighborhoods. And thus far it's worked pretty good. Uh, one of the other things that uh, we were able to implement when I first got here is the Chiefs Community Council. Now, this is a council that's made up of Latinos, African American, Asian Pacific Islanders. These are individuals that are minorities, underrepresented groups inside of our, our community that sometimes don't have a voice in being able to provide uh, policing within their respective communities. And so what we've done is we've done outreach into those communities in order to be able to get some, some input on some of the policies and procedures that we're involved with to ensure that they're going to work in, in sync with some of the, the things that are happening in their various communities. In other words, we don't want to go in there and make uh, policies that are going to overtly uh, offend individuals within that community. So what we've done is, is that we've done some, some work with them in order to be able to look at our, our policies, our procedures, to make them so that they're uh, more conducive to promoting a good relationship with those various communities. Let me give you a good example of what I'm talking about. Racial profiling is a, it's a big issue, and not only in the city, but throughout the United States. One of the things that we've done is that we have a committee, a subcommittee of the Chiefs Community Council that's working on developing training for our officers. Now, this training is going to be consist of uh, our, some of our officers who are going to be involved in providing that training, the community members as well. As well. So what they're doing is developing that curriculum that is, is conducive to having you know, good solid relationships with our various communities that are underrepresented in order to be able to, to, to have that type of, of relationship, that we have a good relationship with, uh, with those, those communities. So that racial profiling uh, uh, training along with a, a policy are all things that we've been able to develop with that Chiefs Community Council. City of Los Angeles. Uh, I guess, you know, I've been asked on a various a number of occasions as to why I want to be the Chief of Police in, in the City of Los Angeles if I were to apply because I think that's a that's a big that's a big issue and let me let me get that out of the way first I think that you know what I'll be waiting for is the establishment of the criteria that the that the police commission is going to be able to develop on what it is that they want in the new chief of police let me give an example of what I'm talking about when the city of Oxnard was going to look for a chief of police. They listed a number of things that they wanted in that chief. And what I did is I looked at that criteria to determine whether I was going to fit in the city of Oxnard. Once I determined that it was a good fit, then I applied for the position. And I guess that's what I'm looking for in the city of Los Angeles, is to ensure that the criteria that they're establishing will be the criteria that Art Lopez fits. And so uh, I, I'm looking at that, and uh, I, I think the other question that, uh, that's been asked is, you know, why do you want to be the chief of police in the city of Los Angeles? And let me say this, is that, you know, I, I have a residence that I still maintain in the city of, of Los Angeles, so I'm a little bit selfish. I think that one of the things 
that I'd like to do is to be able to to increase the amount of of uh, community policing that we have in the city of Los Angeles because I've seen I've seen what can happen when you have that synergy between the community and the police department and what can happen in terms of the way that you can reduce crime. And so I'm selfish. I've got a house in the city of Los Angeles and in, in, in Northridge and I want to ensure that that community is kept safe. One of the other reasons that I've looked at, and you can call this a little bit altruistic, I guess, in, in the way that I'm looking at it, and that's the fact that, you know, I want to go back and, and help the, the men and women of that organization. Uh, for a long period of time, they've had some very poor morale. The, the morale problems uh, have, uh, have been in effect for a long period of time. And what I want to do is I want to go back and encourage the hearts and uh, and provide direction and provide uh, and provide guidance to the individuals of that organization in order to be able to to lift the, the morale of the organization. Uh, I owe a lot to the city of Los Angeles. Everything that I am is as a result of the training, as a result of the uh, uh, the experience that I gained in the Los Angeles Police Department. I owe them. And so those are some of the reasons that I'm looking for in terms of, of going back. And I, I look at the challenge, the challenge of being able to, uh, to, to actually turn an organization around in terms of some of the problems that they've had inside the organization, the consent decree, you know, something that's a, as a major challenge that's facing the, uh, the city of Los Angeles. Also looking at the, uh, at the uh, separation, of the, the potential separation of the San Fernando Valley, the harbor, Hollywood, from that main focus or that main body of, of the city of Los Angeles are huge challenges that are, that are facing the Los Angeles Police Department and the city of Los Angeles. And I think that they need a chief that's going to be able to bring those communities together. And I think that that, 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 that bringing that, those cities together, bringing that city together is going to be as a result of not only community policing, but certainly, I think, uh, community-oriented governance, you know, where you have everybody that has a vested interest in the way that we go about doing business on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, the police department, uh, the, the folks from the fire department, uh, libraries, uh, people from, from streets, sanitations, all of those individuals that have a vested interest in the way that we go about doing business along with the community, sitting down at the same table, trying to improve the quality of life within our various communities throughout the city of Los Angeles. And I think through that, you know, members of the uh, or uh, community members in, this, in, the, uh, in the valley, in the harbor, and certainly in Hollywood would see that government is being a little bit more responsive in the way that we go about doing business on a day-to-day -day basis. My name is Robert D. Ocampo, uh, UCLA undergrad in film department. Um, what I plan to do in the future is, is make films about Native American, Chicano, Chicano, uh, Latino people, uh, kind of like coming of age stories, stories about, uh, about people overcoming, like a lot like the stories that we witnessed here tonight uh, on some of the pieces. Uh, do you want to ask questions or you want me to do a, uh, an experimental film in the summer? I'm also going to do a short, a short film in the fall, so I will be needing actors, mainly of Latino, uh, Latina persuasion. For, my, for the, the piece that I'm doing in the summer, it's gonna, I'm going to need actresses. Uh,